Hello, my name is Matt, and I'm here today to give an overview of the WP Nav Plus plugin for WordPress. Uh, on my screen, on the left side, you're looking at my demonstration site that we'll be using, and on the right side, we're looking at the WordPress admin for that site. Uh, before we get too far, I'd like to give an overview of the problem that we're looking to solve. Uh, so, on our home page here, uh, we have our header uh, with our menu links. Uh, these links have already been built in WordPress pages and then added to our primary navigation menu. There's no problem with this. Uh, the problem that I normally encounter is when you get into the interior pages of a, a CMS type site. Uh, so we have this blank area over here uh, that we've designated to show a side menu. And in that side menu we want to show the secondary or relevant pages uh, to whatever page we're looking at. Uh, in this case we're looking at the company page and as you see in our menu, uh, company does have some children pages that we've set up, and we want to be able to show just those pages and nothing else. WordPress doesn't have any great ways to do this uh, while honoring the structure set up in your menu system. Uh, so that's where I've created WPNav Plus. Uh, we're going to look at a basic and a more advanced way uh, to solve this problem. Uh, first, for our basic way, uh, we're going to use the widget uh, that comes with WPNav Plus. So first thing to do is install the plugin. Here we are. Installed and activated. Now that we've activated the plugin, let's head over to the widgets area. You'll see this new WP Nav Plus widget. And let's go ahead and drag and drop that up into our primary sidebar. Now, without having made any further changes, let's refresh our page and see what that has accomplished for us. So already, I think we've accomplished the goals of most uh, people looking to show a side menu. Uh, as you see here, we are showing uh, the children of the company page as set up in the menu manager, which is a really powerful feature. However, if you're looking to do more with your side menu, WPNav Plus still has a lot more juice in it. So let's take a look at what else it can do. Back on our widgets page, we can give this side menu a title. And let's increase our depth. Increasing the depth to 2 allows us to show further children. As you might guess, increasing the depth to 3. We're now looking at three levels of children as set up in our menu manager. Let's look at some more fun things we can do. Let's add an additional WP Nav Plus widget. We'll call this new widget third level. And we're going to increase its start depth. So now if I look at a page like careers, which has children underneath of it, I will see just the children underneath of that level. So we're looking at careers, careers is set up with pages underneath of it, and I'm able to isolate and show those in an independent menu. Uh, if I were to click on a link that doesn't have any children, like about us, it simply won't show that new menu system. Uh, so that's the basic functionality uh, to use the widget. Uh, it's super powerful, super easy. Um, if you are a more advanced user or developer and you're looking to do something even more powerful with WPNav Plus, uh, stick around here. I'm going to show you how to use WPNav Plus in your templates instead of using the widget. So first let's remove the widgets that we created and get back to where we started. So here we have this blank area on the side. Looking at our sidebar template now, uh, I'm first going to show you how people normally try to, to solve this problem, or at least new WordPress developers try to solve this problem. Uh, they use WPNav menu, and they output that to the page, but it doesn't quite do what you want because it's showing the first level link. So it's showing the same information that's already in the header. So that's where we can start to use our new WPNav plus function. Uh, so we're just going to replace WPNav menu with WPNav Plus. WPNav Plus accepts all the same arguments as WPNav Menu with the addition of a new start depth argument. And 
we're going to set our start depth to 1 and save that file and let's see what we have. All right, so now we're showing just the children of our company page, which is perfect. Uh, let's look at some of the more advanced functionality that we just did with the widgets. So I'm going to create another WPNav Plus. We'll give this one a higher starting depth. And let's go ahead and throw in some titles for these. So there we go. We split this up to a tertiary menu. So now we have independent menus for each level. Uh, so why would you want to use the more advanced functionality like this opposed to the widget? Uh, there's really just two reasons. Um, if you're working in a template uh, where you don't want it to be, uh, you don't want to use a, a widget area, a sidebar, or you don't have a sidebar where you want it, um, this allows you just to, to put your code straight into the template, uh, especially where your clients can't uh, touch it if you are working with clients. Uh, also, uh, it's a much more powerful uh, solution in that we have all the power of WPNav menu. Uh, so if you look at the WordPress codex for WPNav menu, uh, you'll notice it has all these different arguments uh, to set things like the container class, the menu class, uh, you can set custom walkers. Um, we have all that same power and functionality here uh, in the template. Uh, but either way you do it, uh, basic or advanced functionality, uh, I think WPNav menu is, is really a must-have for anybody who's using WordPress as a content management system. Uh, thank you very much for watching.